Despite the fact that Dacia Silenza was produced for only two years, it is often found in the secondary market. We decided to find out whether it is worth contacting used copies. A significant drawback of the model, given our operating conditions, is that its body is not galvanized. But, despite this, it is difficult to find traces of rust, since all new cars have undergone anti-corrosion treatment. True, on cars that have been in an accident, rust appears quickly. The liftback body is practical. By folding the rear seat, you can easily transport even a refrigerator in it. Since the fifth door of the car is large and heavy, its hinges are not durable. Their unsuitability is signaled by the knock of the back door on bumps, as well as difficulty in closing. The dashboard, although made of hard plastic, is quite nice, and everything is in order with ergonomics. Our landing provides excellent visibility. There is quite enough space in front even for people above average height behind from the knees to the back of the front seat there is not much of it and only two will be comfortable here the cars sold were equipped only with a 1.4 liter renault gasoline engine this unit was once installed on the second generation clio it is time tested and quite reliable once every 40,000 kilometers the timing belt with the tension roller needs to be replaced but he is picky about the quality of fuel they do not like bad fuel injectors catalyst and fuel pump for example it is possible to kill nozzles for 40 to 50,000 kilometers, and cleaning them with ultrasound is inefficient. A couple of refuelings with bad gasoline are enough for the catalyst to fail, although, even if you fill and fuel at proven gas stations, it usually does not take care of it for more than two years. This is due to the poor corrosion resistance of its body, however, as well as the entire exhaust system, because the muffler serves even less. Poor quality gasoline also leads to clogging of the fuel pump filter and if it is heavily clogged, get ready for serious expenses, it is replaced only with the fuel pump, new assembly, about $300. Oil leaks under the hood can occur when the front crankshaft oil seal fails, but replacing it is not laborious. The buyer of Silenza also does not have a choice of transmission types, it is the only one, mechanical. But there are no complaints about the reliability of the KP. Undoubtedly, the Silenza's most problematic place is its undercarriage. On our roads, it does not serve for a long time. So, the stabilizer bar bushings in most cases need to be replaced every 10,000 kilometers, and even less with careless driving. Solid blocks of the front suspension, like ball bearings, die after 20 to 30,000 kilometers. The support bearings of the front suspension struts can last 10,000 longer, and the racks themselves, as a rule, do not drive more than 50,000. Wheel bearings nurse 40 to 60,000 kilometers. You need to carefully monitor the integrity of the anthers of the axle shafts and ball bearings, they do not differ in strength. Half shafts assembled with CB joints, even with intact anthers, as a rule, need to be replaced by 100,000 kilometers. The rear suspension is not much more reliable. So, silent blocks serve 50 to 70,000 kilometers before failure. Rear springs do not like overload and often burst. The only consolation may be the maintainability of the front and rear suspensions, everything changes separately in them. It is easier to turn the steering wheel in Silenza Help's hydraulic booster, GUR. In order for it to serve for a long time, it is necessary to monitor the oil level in its tank. In the event of a leak, the leaky oil seal of the steering rack hydraulic distributor, as well as the power steering pressure sensor, are most often to blame. The rail itself is solid. Tie rod ends require replacement after 40 to 50,000 kilometers. The braking system is effective, but, like the suspension, short-lived. Wedging calipers on Silenza are not uncommon, so the life of the brake pads does not even reach 20,000 km. Ventilated brake discs are not of very high quality and are prone to deformation. There are fewer problems in the electrical part. After winter, the electric motor of the cooling fan may fail. This happens due to the acidification of the plastic bushings of the electric motor, because at this time of the year it turns on infrequently. As a result, the fan starts to work with increased load, and the electric motor burns out. They pester the failure of the electric door locks. Before you decide to buy a Romanian Frenchman, you need to think. If everything is in order with roads and fuel quality in your region, then an inexpensive functional car will only please. But if asphalt and gasoline do not stand up to criticism, it is better to look for another car.